Good morning guys, it's Gene aka LS Turbo Intake and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're finally gonna go ahead and remove the seatbelts. I am sending them out to Seatbelt Planet and from my previous videos, you guys all know, everybody voted on the honey color. And to be honest, I think that was the best color to go with. And just a recap, these are the sample colors I received from Seatbelt Planet and Safety Restore. This is honey, speed yellow. These also look like speed yellow from Safety Restore. They sent me the bright yellow one. And this is a kind of a cool feature to have, but it is black with what looks like speed yellow on the edging. But through IG, it looks like everybody voted to go with honey, which to me is the color to go to. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery because the seat belts do have those, I think they're, I don't know if they're called seat belt sensors, but they do have those sensors on them. So I wanna make sure we don't have any issues with that when we disconnect the connection there. Be sure to put something under the latch just in case you shut the hood, you're not gonna be able to pop it up again. But remember that video when Matt from Porsche Mod Squad came down, he removed my seats. And we're actually gonna meet up with him on Sunday. He's got my seats done, he's got the clear engine cover done, and the shift boots. That's all completed. We're gonna meet up with Matt. He suggested to meet up with him at Louisville. I believe that's a four hour drive, so I'd rather do a four hour drive than that seven, eight hour drive that he had to do when he picked up the fenders. So it looks pretty straightforward, you guys. Just gotta pop off the bolt down here before I can even get to this area. I'll go ahead and pop this pillar out, which then you'll see the connections. I'll disconnect that connection there and then unbolt the seatbelt. And I'll probably have to disconnect this part here just to get the seatbelt through. And then we'll go over to the driver's side and do the same thing. I did talk to Seatbelt Planet, talk to Mike, and he said he's gonna reuse this, this piece, and this piece as well. Pretty much they reuse all the hardware. The only thing they're replacing is just the belt itself. Everything else will be reused, which is great, because at least you know everything's OEM. So other than the seatbelt color change. So I'll post links in the description of Seatbelt Planet's website. And if you guys decide you want to do the same thing, super easy to do, you guys. Basically, you're going to go online, select the color that you want, pay for it, and they will cover the cost to ship it back to you. It's just on the website, it said free shipping, and I was like, well, how do you get the free shipping? I thought they were going to send me a box, but no. What they do is you'll put it in your own box, package it up, send it to the address listed on the website pay for it at UPS, FedEx, or wherever you're gonna bring it to, but they'll cover the cost of shipping back to you. So it shouldn't take too long, maybe uh, 30 minutes. I'm not as fast as Matt. I'm pretty much just gonna wing this. I did check to see if there was any videos on YouTube. I didn't see one. I saw one on a 981 Boxster a GT4, but they really didn't show the steps on how to do it. Now on the 718 forum, there is instructions, pictures, but you know, you guys can interpret that so many different ways. I figure I do a video. I honestly think it's better to watch a video. That way you guys can see the step-by-step. -step. Let's go ahead and tackle on this project. Super excited to get the seatbelts finally done. I've been wanting to get this done for the past three years. Guys, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop my videos, you guys will be notified. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, please post them below. She's gonna look good, guys. I can already picture the seatbelt colors. All right, guys, let's get started.
record it, Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne, Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like a front of D, D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and doing me, bro. Making noise, use a beat. We got the first seatbelt off. This is the passenger side. I didn't know it had a second connector on here. Let's see, it was the one in the back, which is that one right there. Now that I'm looking at it, they are color coded. I did mark it just in case. That's a mint color and this one over here is yellow. I'm looking at the internal connections. They look the same, just different colors. But I did mark it just to make sure I don't plug it into the wrong one. I did talk to Mike at Seatbelt Planet. They will reuse. Hopefully they do the right orientation. They'll reuse the buckle, this plastic piece, as well as that stopper is what he said. And they'll also reuse this. And I believe they send you the seatbelt back to you. So I'm just glad they're using everything as all OEM. That way it's just straight plug and play guys. So as far as uninstalling this, this wasn't too bad. The pictures on the forum just didn't do it justice, but actually I hope this video helps anybody that's, if they decide they wanna do this, it's not too bad, anybody can actually do this. Just make sure you disconnect the battery. So there's that piece. I didn't know we had to remove it guys, but that was the only way to get to the bottom bolt. And guys, is that the sound indicator that we're all talking about disconnecting? Because I know I disconnected mine from the fuse in the back, but I'm wondering if you look at it, it is because here's a tubing. So I'm guessing that's what the speaker, yeah, that's the sound indicator. Cause look, there's the port and right there guys, I don't know if anybody knew that, basically makes that sound and puts it into the cabin here with us. So mine's disconnected. As far as disconnecting it, in the future, if nobody wants to pull fuses, you can actually just disconnect it from the back, I think. Hopefully it doesn't throw an engine code. There it is, guys. Wow. I've always read this on the forums. We've all discussed it on if people like the way it sounds and how to disconnect it. But here it is. <laughs> Interesting. So there it is. Sound indicator, guys. All right, let's go ahead and tackle the driver's side. is seatbelt number two got them both uninstalled had to go to Harbor Freight guys and pick up a triple square impact bit the one I had worked on this one but not on the other one it was on super tight and I didn't want to strip it so I called Matt from Porsche Mod Squad he told me what I needed so I head out to Harbor Freight pick one up from Icon 
It was about $37 altogether with tax. So here's what I used to take the first one out. I guess it had enough bite. It didn't strip as you can see, but when I took it on this side, totally stripped it. So what I had to do is your typical method. So after buying the correct tool, which is this triple square impact, I basically had to hammer this in because even when I used this, it wasn't grabbing. So I really got worried there for a second. I didn't damage this, which is good, but I had to put it in and then smack it with the hammer quite a few times until it was pretty much in place and then I was able to get it out. So I went ahead to Porsche's website and I ordered two more of these. Guys, just a tip. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I didn't have this on hand. I kind of used what I had. The first one worked, so that's why I didn't even think about the second one was gonna be an issue, but it was. So now that I have this, should make the job so much easier when I put it back in. That way I can torque it down to the correct specs. So just a tip there, but I got it all out. So I'm gonna get everything boxed up, ship it over to the seatbelt planet. And I believe they said when they receive it, takes between three to five business days before I get it back. So super excited guys. All right, next time you see me, I'll get the seatbelts back from Seatbelt Planet and we'll, and then we'll get everything put back in. See you guys in a bit. I went ahead and printed up my order because in the instructions it says, do include your work order to the box. And I'm gonna use this one here. These two seatbelts should fit in this box with no problem. I'm gonna use some of this packing paper just to keep everything from moving around. So we'll include this. I've got the address of Seatbelt Planet. I'm gonna send it to you along with this work order. Guys, we're almost set. So let's get these packed up and shipped off to Seatbelt Planet. All right guys, all packed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and head over to UPS. How's it going guys? I finally got the seat belts back from Seatbelt Planet. Super excited guys. It's been a long time waiting to get these seat belts done. I think I've mentioned I've been wanting this done for the past two years. So finally I got the opportunity to get this done. Here it is fam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up. All right. These should be the originals. They've got it all packaged up, rolled up neatly. We've got two. Box number one and box number two. All right, let's see what we've got. Packaged very well, you guys. They've got it in a bubble wrap so it doesn't bounce around. And a separate bag for the seatbelt itself. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, look at that color. Oh man, you guys, look at that. And just to confirm, that is what we went with you guys. This color is number 74 Honey. I just wanna make sure it's the same color and if you look at it, same one. Look at that. Looks amazing. Let's go ahead and open up number two. I'm so stoked right now. Very well packaged, bubble wrapped. So they go that extra mile, as well as putting it in a bag.
And there's number two. Same color. I believe if you guys get into an accident when these lock up, I believe you do have to send these out to get them redone. At least from some videos I've seen. Also what finally came in were the bolts that hold these down right here. Also these took a while to come in. I did strip out one of mine, but I went ahead and ordered two. Here's the one I stripped. I used a regular Torx and the first one came out fine, but the second one did not. So I had to run to Harbor Freight and here's that triple square. So this is what you guys need. It's a size 10 and fits perfectly. Use the right tools guys. I will be torquing these down. I'll have to look it up and see what the torque specs are. I will post the torque specs on these off to the right here. Looks amazing guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to video it since I already showed how to remove it. There's no point in showing me putting these back in. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And as soon as we come back, these will be installed. See you guys in a bit. All right, fam, we are all done installing the seat belts from Seatbelt Planet. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it looks good. All right, let's take a look. Looks absolutely amazing. And also what I was able to get done finally is this top piece. I never cut it out for the roll cage just because in case I was going to sell the car, uh, I wanted to be able to put this back without having this cutout part. I'm not going to sell this car. It's a forever. So I decided to go ahead and cut it and now it looks so much cleaner with this all covered. Even though I did like how all the bars were all mounting on the mounting points here. It was a little bit more to look at, but this looks super clean now that the seatbelt goes through and it just kind of blends with the roll cage actually. Looks super clean guys. I haven't put the top bar back on yet just because I have to take this back off in order to put the clear engine cover. That'll be on my next video you guys. So if you want to tune in for that, be sure to hit those post notifications. But check out that side. Looks amazing. Again, I still have a bar that comes across and connects to here. I just took that off. How does that look, guys? Blends so well with the Higo row cage. Absolutely stunning, guys. Look how well it just blends. If anybody's interested and maybe say you guys were thinking about upgrading your seatbelt and it didn't come with your factory color, I would highly suggest upgrading it. It really adds to the interior. Super impressed with seatbelt's quality. I mean, they put everything back the way it should be and everything is the correct orientation. I like how I have this piece back on. What do you guys think? Goes well with the roll cage here. All right, now that completes the install for the seatbelts from Seatbelt Planets, we are gonna tackle on my next project, which are the custom seats I had done from Matt from Porsche Mod Squad, done in that tartan material. But that will be on my next video, so you guys are gonna have to hit those post notifications. That way when I drop that video, you guys will be notified. It's gonna look good, guys. Stay tuned. And also besides the seat install, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that clear engine cover. I need to get that installed. Also besides installing that clear engine cover, I do need to get that intercooler installed from Ragdoll Motorsports. So I did get tracking info updates from Downstar Inc. And it looks like I should get those hardware in by Saturday. So 
I'll go ahead and as soon as those come in, I'll knock those out. So a lot more work to do guys. But for now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with my build. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop my videos, you guys will be notified. And if you have any questions or any comments, please post them below. Also hit me up on Instagram at lsturbointeg and help me get to 10K. We are getting there slowly but surely. All right guys, until next time, peace.